Hey, Five fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with Mark Dickinson. How are you here in Las Vegas? I'm all good. Enjoying my first time out in Vegas. How's you, Michelle? Yeah, I'm good. So, first time here. It's a bit of a culture shock for you? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit mental. It's everything I thought Vegas would be, though. Yeah? Yeah. What's been, like, the one thing you've been able to do to enjoy yourself while you're here? Obviously, you're here training, but what's something that's been memorable for you? To, to be honest, I mean, I was loving the American food the first four or five days I was out here until I got my next fight date, and then it's just back on Strictly Business, you know? Okay, so let's talk about that. That came really unexpected. It just, what, what was it, just a matter of a day or so ago you found out that you were fighting on December the 8th? Um, it was a couple days, maybe it's Thursday last week. Uh -huh. I think I woke up in the morning to a message off my manager and an announcement of Pro Bellum to say I was fighting on the December the 18th. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be fighting until February, so right. it was a good surprise to going to end the year 2-0. and Okay, so you just made your pro debut. Congratulations. How did that feel for you? Uh, oh, it was amazing. You only mm -hmm. get one debut, and it ended in 36 seconds, so it couldn't, have went, it couldn't have went any better. Well, you are pretty notorious for your power, so I'm not too surprised when I hear that. To be honest, I wasn't really the biggest power puncher in the amateurs, but since Ben's got hold of me, it <laughs> tur turned into a different animal. What is it he's exactly that he's doing then? Because I'm hearing from everybody in camp that you're, you're doing some damage in there. The thing with Ben is, Ben's learning every day, and that allows us to learn every day. So mm -hmm. we're, every day is an improving day, mm -hmm. and um, we're just working hard, working smart, and we're going to get towards the titles. So for people who are not familiar with you yet, what was your amateur record? And uh, you made your pro debut at middle, correct? Yeah, my mm -hmm. pro debut was at middle. Where my amateur record was 77 wins, um, 12 losses. Okay. Um, I won eight national titles, European gold, Commonwealth gold, a box for the Team GB. I won three gold medals for them, a bronze medal, represented them in world championships. I think the only thing I missed out on in um, the amateurs was the Olympics. Right. And it was a case of like waiting around another four years for the Olympics or turning pro. And mm -hmm. I want to get on with my own career. Mm -hmm. You are amongst a solid stable uh, of, of, of various fighters. Obviously, you're also here with um, Josh. So let's talk a bit about what that experience has been like for you to sort of train alongside Josh Taylor. You know, I, I've said it a hundred times, to train along, alongside the likes of Josh Taylor, Lee McGregor, Lee Wood, it, it's a privilege to start your career. Me so young, mm -hmm. um, so fresh into the pro game and training alongside these, it's it's unbelievable experience. You can't buy it, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So. I've just, got to, I've just got to be grateful and take opportunity with both hands. And when linking up with the trainer and making that decision, I always compare it to that of being in a relationship. You really have to make sure it's right, right? It feels right, Every, everything gels correctly. What was it specifically about Ben that sold you on, this is exactly who I want to uh, take my, my professional career with? For me, it was just so much how he breaks everything down. This is how you do it, why you do it, and when you do it, mm -hmm. basically. And I just listen to him and it works, mm -hmm. simple as that. Who have you sparred with that we may know of? Because every person so far that I've spoke to has said that you've you hit really hard <laughs> sparring. So is there anybody that we would know that you've sparred with so far? Um, well, up and running to my debut, I was sparring a lot with John Ryder and Felix Cash, which for the level I'm at at the minute, it was unbelievable experience. Right. You know, them two boys was bringing me on a lot. So mm -hmm. they, they, was, they was a big help for my pro debut, mm -hmm. definitely. And congratulations on signing with Pro Bellum. Big news. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what what are your you know your hopes for 2022? I mean, we're obviously just around the corner. Um, so obviously I've got my fight December 18th. I've got to get that out of the way first. Um, it'll be another six rounder. Obviously, I haven't even boxed a minute yet. <laughs> but um, I think I want to move on to eight rounders uh, in the not not so far future. You know, I want right. I, I want to be moving quickly on to the eight rounders. And then end of 2022, beginning of 2023, I want to be looking for some sort of titles, you know, I don't want to be waiting about. So given that you haven't even gone a minute uh, so far, I know it's your only one to know at, the, at this point, but do you kind of hope for an opponent that would give you some rounds so that you could, you know, take in that and, and learn from that? Um, you know, rounds is valuable experience, but the experience I'm getting in the gym, uh, I know how to pace the rounds. I know how to, I know how to go down the stretch. So when it comes to a fight night and people think, oh, he's blown, every, if he's blown everyone away, if that is the case of happening, mm -hmm. and they think, oh, let's take him down the stretch. I know what I'm doing down the stretch, right. and I've got a coach that's learning me how to do it down the stretch. I'm mm -hmm. with the top fighters who's all going down the stretch. Mm -hmm. So the stable I'm in speaks for itself, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Do you know anything about your opponent yet? Um, to be honest, I don't. Okay. I don't. Just stay ready. I'll just stay ready. <laughs> I'll fight anybody anytime. All right. Well, um, I want to ask you about this weekend's fight, if you don't mind. We have uh, Terrence Crawford, who's actually in the other room. What was, I mean, just sort of being in the same room as Terrence Crawford and Josh Taylor, who may possibly be opponents one day, uh, what was that like for you? I mean, every fight is dream, isn't it? You know, <laughs> uh, being in with all the world champions, training alongside them. So uh, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. Who do you think wins this weekend, Terence Crawford or Sean Porter? Um, I think it's going to be an unbelievable fight, but I think Terence Crawford will win on points. Okay. All right, Mark. Well, I wish you all the best. Congratulations again with signing with Probellum okay. and obviously okay. going into your second professional fight. And uh, we'll continue to, you know, interview you along the course of your career. Not a problem. Thank you very much, Michelle. Hey, you're welcome. You. Bye, Fight fans. Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.